How you guys doing today? Jorn with the Mentor Minute. Minutes. Moment. Whatever we're calling it. I got a surprise for you guys. Take a look at this video. So my name is Lorraine. I work with the driver qualification team and I'm sitting here with Mr. Matt Blair, one of my owner-operator um, consultants. What made you become a mentor, right? Basically, the being in trucking for so long and having so many experiences and so many things that I know about trucking, I almost felt like keeping it to myself was it not gonna be as valuable as teaching somebody else how to do the job. And so that's why I, I always love mentoring or teaching in some capacity is just being able to take the information I know and pass that on to somebody else. Wow, well, I mean, as a mentor, I mean, you've had quite a few students and then you've came from academy too. Like what's like a number one struggle that you find yourself coming across often that you were, and how do you work through that struggle? The one I find a lot is that when they want to back, because they're so used to the academy, okay, you're going to back up to this point you're going to look for this. When this happens, you're going to get out and look. When this happens, then you're going to turn the wheel before you start moving. And so now it's like, that will work. That will work in a lot of different places. But in some places when you're at like Walmart, Target, you're at the ports, you're at a major shipping area, everything's super tight. And so you have to think outside the box sometimes in your backing. And sometimes you're going to have to move that wheel while you're while you're backing. It's not going to be just the points to hit. So it's great they have that general knowledge of how the trailer moves and when to move it, but then we got to get into, okay, turn the wheel while we move it. Oh, so the gas, yeah, so our number one struggle would be backing and you know, the way you work with it, you're just you know, patient. Um, what are some like tips that help you out with those struggles? So, like, what are things that you have in, in play um, to help you with those struggles? What I'll notice is a lot of guys want to back up just a little bit and then stop, back up a little bit and stop. Or they want to turn the wheel, turn the wheel hard. And they're getting lost in the wheel and so sometimes I just tell them, hey, okay, just we're straight line backing, let's just hold the wheel like this and then just move it just a little bit because we just have little problems, it's going to be little turns of the wheel. Little big turn. problems are for big turns of the wheel. So sometimes you'll see guys, they're just lost, they don't know where the wheel's at and so if it's a straight line back, okay, little problems, little turns. Little turns. Big problems, what? those are for big turns. So getting them to see that, you know, sometimes takes a minute because it's not, you know, and then we got to get out and look. We got, like, maybe at the academy you got lucky and you didn't hit a cone. But out here we're not hitting cones, we're hitting trucks. So you got to get out and look. You got to make sure you're good, you know. Out there, okay, yeah, you, you went over a line, no big deal. Over here, when you go over a line, that's because you're hitting some guy's truck. So we got to get out and look. We got to get out and look. So they have this, sometimes they have this expectation of perfection, and you just need to say, like, it's not about being perfect, it's about getting better. And just tell them about the progress that they've made over the time that they've been here with Swift. Like, okay. 45 days ago, you couldn't straight line back, but now you can straight line back, but now we're working on these new proficiencies and so and it takes time it's not like nobody is an expert overnight I mean maybe there's some but I haven't really met many of them so. all right mr. Matt so last question what's your number one takeaway that you would give students as the students like leave my truck I always try and remind them like trucking is problems and we are problem solvers every time you run into a problem that's one more problem in your toolbox that you know how to solve and as you start to get more and more problems, you're gonna have more and more tools. And two, three years down the road, the problem that you thought was such a hard problem when you first started, you're gonna be like, oh, no problem, I already know how to navigate this. I already know how to change a light bulb on a trailer. I already know how to change a mud flap. I already know how to do these things. So don't be so upset when you run into problems when you're new, because that's one more tool in your toolbox that you know how to overcome later on when you come up with it. So that's the deal, that's what we're doing. We are problem solvers. So. That's I why I try and leave them that. with. Yes, thank you so much, Matt, for like everything you do for our DQ team and, and Swift and you know mentoring and even coming and helping us the team. Um, I wanted to give you this hat, the mentor oh, hat. Thank you. Um, and just continuously to say thank you. I can't say it enough to you and You're for welcome. all you do and right. always willing to always help out with the students. Yeah.